Back to one of our top stories tonight. Singapore has earmarked $40 million to build up its 5G ecosystem with the goal of becoming a 5G innovation hub. The money will go towards research and efforts to speed up digitalization. And for more on this, we're joined in studio by Tan Kit Hao, CEO of the Infocom Media Development Authority. Thanks for coming nice in. Uh, firstly, can you help us or elaborate, if you will, on the importance of Singapore's push towards an innovative and open, uh, inclusive 5G ecosystem? Uh, well, first, uh, we believe that 5G will be an important infrastructure for Singapore's future digital economy. It brings new capabilities and unleashes new possibilities. But it's not really how fast the speeds are on our 5G networks. It's not how soon we get our 5G networks. It's really how smartly we use our 5G networks to create value for our businesses and consumers. Mm. In this respect, an open environment that brings together different players from an ecosystem to come together to innovate, to create applications and solve real-world problems is critical. Mr. Tan, can you tell us about these trials that are going to be carried out? What will you be looking for and how will the trials be put in place? Well, first, um, 5G technology is still very, very nascent. Standards are still being firmed up as we speak. So first, I think it's really understanding the technology, the possibilities and the constraints. Basically, what's real and what's hype. Mm. Second, it's about building capabilities in our companies and our engineers to understand 5G technologies, and how to deploy 5G in our environment. Thirdly, it's about catalyzing innovation, creating use cases that are impactful and innovative, that are useful for our businesses and enterprises, that's relevant for us, as well as the broader region and the rest of the world, export opportunities for our companies. And what are some of the sectors or the industries that you can expect to see the benefits of 5G really sort of come into play? Uh, presumably, maritime would be, would be one. Yeah. Um, well, my minister highlighted six uh, industry sectors. Mm. Uh, such as maritime, as you mentioned, uh, manufacturing, industry 4.0, smart estates. Um, these are sectors which are important to our economy. And secondly, these are sectors that we believe can leverage the capabilities of 5G. Amongst other things, 5G technologies bring about ultra-low latency networks. What you can do, you can support remote monitoring and operations of autonomous and automated, automated vehicles. Mm. For example, we are working with PSA to deploy some of these trials in port operations, improving efficiency, uh, productivity, and also workplace safety, mm. allowing workers to pilot remote machines to do hazardous, hazardous tasks. Mm. So these are the possibilities using 5G. Mm. You mentioned smart estates yes. uh, just now, and, and that will be of interest to, to many of our viewers. Yeah. How can we expect some of our neighborhoods to change with these smart estates? Well, it's too soon to tell. We just closed the uh, first round of call for proposals, awarded eight projects, and just launched the second call. But really at the heart of it, in the digital economy, we believe that technology is not just to transform business processes and workplaces. It's also transforming the places that we live and play. And really, estates are one of them. For example, using big data and AI to better simulate and plan the flow of goods and traffic in a precinct, using smarter or smart energy management solutions to reduce the environmental footprint in our estates. And the list goes on. Mm. And lots of applications for sure. Uh, turning to sort of regulations on, on e-transactions, uh, that's one area where the government's going to need to sort of the balance the sort of the push forward mm. into this new technology and also sort of managing sort of how it's done safely for the security of, mm. of Singapore mm. and the users of it. Mm. Uh, how do you see that sort of playing out? Well, in a digital economy, our belief is that trust and innovation need to go hand in hand. Um, and I would argue that as the more you digitalize the processes and systems, the higher premium you place on trust. Mm. And we are, actually, uh, we are in the midst of reviewing and updating our Electronic Transaction Act. Uh, it's up for uh, public consultation mm. to really support the end-to-end -end digitalization of processes from uh, uh, property transactions, powers of attorney, basically giving the consumers and businesses trust that digital transactions are secured and backed by law. And uh, we welcome views in this public consultation. Mm. And just to touch on as well, uh, $40 million to sort of kick things off. Yeah. That mm. sounds like a lot of money to, to, you, to, well, to you and me. Uh, uh, is that a lot of money for what we're talking about? And, and how big are the sums going to get in, in terms of being pumped into the 5G you know, in Singapore? Well, first, um, the $40 million is really meant as a kickstarter, mm. a catalyst, 
um, the industry, the private sector will be uh, investing their own resources and funds together with the government to really uh, catalyze an innovative ecosystem. And I would say it's really for a start. And uh, along the way, if more needs are discovered, we're happy to see what we can do more. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Tan, for coming in to share sure. uh, those perspectives on this news about uh, this big investment into our 5G technology. We've been speaking there to Mr. Tan Kethau. He's CEO of the Infocom Media Development Authority.